Oh no, it's getting near. No, get away from me! Oh crap! Hey guys, it's the Clumsy Geek, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved here in the Right Ark server. Now, in this episode, I want to focus on something that I haven't uh, gotten deep into since the first season. So, I want to explore underwater stuff. Like, I know there are like loot crates now, and I haven't even built a scuba before. So, that's something that we'll be exploring today. But before we do, let me share with you some updates on the base. Like, you might have noticed. Let's see. Number one, Stacy. She is a new tame, a new stego, and she is level 145. So I just found her like walking around that area over there, and I decided why not take her? Like, why not tame her? Because she is a very good uh, berry gatherer as well, and she might lay e eggs even. Also, next, our garden, our greenhouse farm, is working perfectly. Like a few hours after I ended the, the last episode about greenhouse farming, they, I, I couldn't believe it, they were like fully bloomed, like fruitlings, fruitlings already. And I, it was so amazing. And uh, the only thing is, I think there is a limit on crop lots on how much they can store. Like this guys, they can only store 149 vegetables. All of them. So even if there are like... Uh, still uh, areas here so open slots they cannot do anything anymore but should be okay should be fine yeah and i even have one uh one full stack of each of the special vegetables inside my fridge so we are all set when it comes to that nice we even have narcos and stimberries also our frog is now named hopper for lack of a better name so if you guys can give me can suggest a name for me that would be super awesome but un until then she will remain hopper what else what else what else we now have this guy over here which looks super cool so remember a few episodes ago i can't remember how many we went caving we got our dung beetles and in the process we got our trophies as well like two of these guys artifact of the pack so I decided to get some obsidian and make a trophy case for this guy just so we can have some ornamentation inside this room. Looks super cool. Alright, and then I guess that's it for the updates. So let's get right into the scuba thing. Oh yeah, and last thing, I just got this ramshackle metal pick, finally. So we, it's been so long since we had an apprentice hatchet, but it... <laughs> We've been working with the primitive picks all throughout, so now we have an upgrade at last. Okay, and yeah, one more thing. If you look at my Ingram points, I have 1,000 plus now. I think the previous episode it was around 200. Zog made some changes to the server. Apparently, there was some like uh, wrong calculations done with XP in Ingram points. I, I don't understand the details, but he worked it out. And uh, that resulted to a humongous jump in Ingrams, even though the XP is kind of uh, weird for now. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but Zog fixed it finally. And it will adjust eventually in time. It will correct itself. Okay? So now, if we go to the scuba, why can't I learn this? Now that's weird. We need a metal water reservoir. Reservoir to learn the scuba tank, and we need a scope attachment to learn the scuba mask. <laughs> it's kind of weird prerequisites, but okay, fine, I'll bite. We need this one and this one, and we need the scope. And to learn the scope, we need okay, prerequisite is spyglass, I think. I think, I hope I'm right. Yes, nice. Alright, so now if you go back to scuba, now we can learn them all. And since we have thousands of Ingram points, just learn all of them. Nice. So let's take a look at the fabricator. 
Armor scuba. Yeah. Oh no. Polymer. Okay, this one we can do. What what does this do anyway? Hyperthermal insulation. Alright. This one is. So this is just for insulation. This one is for increasing swim speed. Okay, that's good. This one is for uh connects to a scuba tank. Okay. Allowing the wearer to breathe underwater. I think this is just for visualization, right? And this guy is the most important thing to have uh, mostly unlimited or uh, an increased amount of oxygen underwater. So let me get the materials for these and I'll be right back, guys. Alright, back at base, guys. And why is this open? I think I forgot to close it. Anyway. So let's see. Um, we have all the polymer we need, but it's on speedy, so let's go and grab it. Polymer. There we go. So let's transfer back the fur armor here. And let's get some arrows as well, because we probably would need that for combat later on. And let us repair our crossbow. Just to be safe. Our apprentice crossbow. This epic item. Nice. Okay. Let's get one gasoline. Put that here. Deposit all the polymer. And then... Let's see. Nice. Okay, everything can be made. Alright, perfect. Let's make all of them. Okay, perfect. Turn it off. And now we have our scuba gear. And these weigh pretty light too, except for... No, they all are very light. Only thing is, they don't have any armor. So... Hmm... It's quite tricky. Let's see. So if I'm walking like this, if I wear my flippers. Oh yeah, that's low. But it's okay. Then if I wear my scuba. <laughs> that's cool. There's like an oxygen sound effect. And does it like break easily? No, I don't think so. Nice. Okay, guys. So... Let us go now. Cool, man. Alright. Alright. That's good. Oh, we don't have any for... Ah, yeah. Alright. So, yes. That's one of the main complaints. That there is no... No such thing as... Uh, what do you call this? Uh, gloves. For underwater. Which is kind of weird, actually. So, let's take one guy. One guy who can defend himself. Let's take Boo Boo. We've never ridden on Boo Boo before. So let's level you up. Like, uh... Alright, that should be good. And let's go to the sea. I'll meet you there, guys. It should be a quick travel anyway. Alright, so let's go here. And we can swim right here, I guess. Just need to clean up the place a bit. Oh, wait, I know now. We do have a raft right here, so we might as well use it. I got this when we. I created this when we got our T Rexes in the Northeast Island. So, might as well get out on it. And I made it into this huge thing right here. Like, uh. Look how big that is. <laughs> Just for housing the T Rexes. Okay, so let's get on this guy. And let's go to the middle of the sea. Okay, this should be good. Not too far, yet not too near. This should prove... Uh, this should give a bit of excitement, at least. So let's go and get our gear ready. Nice. Wish me luck, boo-boo. Here I go. 
Alright. Whoa, are those all silica pearls? I guess. Is there anything nearby? Oh, those aren't silica pearls. Those are just like flowers or something. I can't see anybody. What is that? Can I? Oh, it's a megalodon. A level four. We don't want that though. So let's just kill it. Did I hit it? Yes, I did. Apprentice crossbow for the win. There we go. I actually want an Icti, if possible. Nice. So we're getting lots of prime meat for taming later on. Any more baddies? And this is the level 16, I think. 28. That's still kind of low. I want a higher one. This is very nice. Like, uh, not needing to go up for oxygen. That's perfect. So we can actually spend time here now. Oh no, it's getting near. No, get away from me. Oh crap. Alright, that's good. We are running out of stamina though, so let's go back up. And we, we took a bit of damage there. So, shortcut. Raft, nice. Whew. All right. So, how's our oxygen? It is a bit lower, I think, because we were, we were bitten, but should be fine otherwise. All right. Let's keep that there and uh, maybe drive somewhere here. I'll go and look for a possible tame, guys, and I'll be right back. There is something swimming below us, and I'm kind of scared to go down. But let's risk it. And I won't wear my scuba gear first because I need all the armor I can get if it's a baddie. Where is it? There we go. That guy there. You're a level 16. <laughs> no, you should be no problem. Ow, ow, ow. There's one behind me. Crap. Yeah, there is. Okay, so let's go on the raft. The raft should be fairly indestructible. It's just like 20,000 HPs, I think. So you, sir... What level are you, by the way? 16, yeah. Did I hit it? Yeah, I did. I see blood on it. Aha! Uh -huh. You think? <laughs> yeah, this is a much safer way to do it. Die, please. Oh, it's because it's mate boosted. There we go. And where is its mate? Let me get the prime meat off of you. I can't reach it. Let's jump. There it is. What level are you, madam? Oh, lag. Crap. Level 16. Okay. No, 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 Okay. Wow, it's a nice color. Too bad the level's low, though. Huh. What is this? Is it the same one? Ah, yeah, okay. Let's just kill it as well. Clean up the place a bit. Headshots, please. I'm here. I'm here. There we go. Okay. Baddies incoming. Level 68. Oh, that's perfect. Let's try and tame that guy. That girl, actually. <laughs> okay. So, probably no Ictis, but Megalodon is much, much better. Much safer, I think. 
Oh, and we only have 51 tracks. I hope it will be enough. So let's see, where is it? Uh, it's there. There. Oh. Go up, go up. Okay. Whew. This is a bit of a cheaty tactic, but it's much safer. <laughs> I like it. Uh, where is it now? Alright. There it is. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sneaky moves. Sneaky moves. Oh no. What is this? An egg tea. Okay. It's just an egg tea. Oh, another egg tea. All the egg teas. But they're low level, so. That's too bad. I wonder where we're at. Jump. Whoop whoop. Ow 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 ow. Whew, okay, I'm taking some damage. How's my armor? Halfway. Wow. This guy can. This girl can bite. Well, it is a shark after all. I am getting quite confused. Which of you is the shark? Okay, there it is. And it's running, so I think it's low on torpor. Let's wait for it to come back. And let's wear our scuba gear. I can't see anything. What the heck? Oh, oh, that, that's the one. Okay. Oh, so I can do this. Actually, I can loop around it. Perfect. Oh, I hit it. Did I? Oh, man. That's so, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, nice. Let's feed this guy. All the prime meat. that sound that relaxing sound of water it sounds perfect level 68 okay is there anybody around anybody <laughs> anybody okay i'll go and tame up this guy this girl actually and i'll be right back guys Ooh, getting me quite nervous anybody there's a body there oh we got it nice level 101 perfect I like it. What's the health? 2-5. Melee damage 356. More than enough. Nice. Okay, let's get some meat into it. And let's throw all these away. Huh. Okay, I will have to make a saddle. So I might have to go back to base actually. Now that I think about it, I should have bought, brought in a flyer. So, come here. Actually... Follow the raft, maybe. Yeah? And Boo Boo, stop following. And let's go back to base. See you in a sec, guys. We'll test this guy out. Okay, so I'm back. Now with non-stop here. This should be a smarter move, I think. So let's leave the raft here. I crafted the saddle for our Megalodon. And actually, let's wear our scuba gear. I'm really liking this scuba gear. Uh, can't believe I just tried it now, after three seasons. So let us do it like this. Yeah, and then change name. I don't know. Guys, you know me. <laughs> uh, Josephine. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, I know. But it's just temporary until we find a better name until, or until you can suggest one for me. <laughs> so you will have to work hard for it, okay? So there we go. Alright, and this is what I learned. Even if you have scuba goggles on, you have to go to first person mode for it to take into effect. Otherwise, if you remain a third person like this, the sea remains blue. 
and the goggles remain without an effect. Alright, so let us see where we can go. Where am I anyway? There. We have to get the coordinates of this one. So let me go. Coordinates will be 84.9, 35.8, in, just in case we get lost. Alright, let's go. Now let's see, what can we find here? Wow, all the oil. This is amazing. Oh, and it's a megalodon. What level are you? Ah, yeah, I hate this. I can't... I can't see the levels from here. Anyway, let's just kill them. Would be a good test for Josephine. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a plesiosaur. Crap. What level is that? Oh, two of them, guys. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Can we tame one plesiosaur? I don't know. Oh, they're still attacking me. I thought they wouldn't go like above water, above a certain area. Eee, scary. They are following me. That's weird. Ah. So I don't think they go this far in. Do they? Aha! Aha! What level are you? 35 and the other one is... 35 as well. Okay. I think that's good enough. And the Megalodons are still here. Okay, let's just take care of them first. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And we get e we got even some prime meat out of that. So let's pump the health to 5k maybe. That should be good. And melee damage. Perfect. So where's our pleasy? Our pleasy is there. Okay. I did get some more crank arrows. So this should be a pretty okay setup for us. Can I hit you? Yes. So let me see. If I stay at Josephine's uh, sea level, we should be good. It shouldn't be able to hit us. Okay, so I can turn around like this. And when it's almost near me, I go here, above. So it wouldn't go this level. Or will it? I think it will. <laughs> okay, run. Uh, it's, this is so confusing, guys. What? What's happening here? So can I or can I not go at that level? Aha! Oh crap! Crap, 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 crap. Alright. So at this level, they won't catch me, right? Okay. How's our stuff? Or oh, halfway in the tank. I have to be a little bit more careful. You might even need to kill one first. Not sure. Is this guy reaching us? Okay, so I think this has something to do with the new AI. That if you can't reach them, they run. Is that the case? Maybe? Yeah, because they are running. Alright. So let's go down a bit. And let's see if they turn around. I only need one please you. Plesiosaur. And we already have a cool saddle for it, actually. <gasps> that, this is so scary. Like their jaws are... Yeah, look at that. 
Aha! Confirmed, this is a safe spot. Okay. Where is it? Oh, there, okay. Looking for me? This is actually nice. Any other baddies around? No, I guess not. I have to go up. I'm getting too close. There we go. Aha! Good thing they have that limitation. I guess... I guess everyone has a weakness after all. Sleep. I think it's asleep. Yes, perfect. All right, let's go. Let's go, Josephine. <laughs> I can't believe I named it that. And uh, so the blue one got away, but we have this guy here, and this should be pretty cool. Okay, so let's see. So Zog taught me that the raw prime meat here. We have to drop it because otherwise the, the extended spoil timers won't take into effect. Where did it get dropped though? Crap, did I lose everything? <laughs> what the heck? How is your unconscious meter? It's dropping fast, oh no. We might need narcotics here, actually. Yep. We probably do. Okay, let me run back to where our raft is and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're almost there. Just one last feeding. I was able to go back to the raft. So apparently the raft was just nearby. That's so lucky for us. And uh... Oh, did it... Okay, one more feeding then. Then it should be fine. All right, and I was able to get some narcotics out of uh, nonstop on the raft, and fed this guy. Then remember the blue plesiosaur that we almost tamed, or we trying to tame? Well, I killed that instead and got all its prime meat, like 34 prime meat. If you look at Josephine here, Just look at that! <laughs> Amazing. All right, so let's just wait for this guy. One last feeding, and we have our plesiosaur. Be right back, guys. Whew. Okay, so I just got back from base and I remembered that saddle we had. The ramshackle plesiosaur saddle. It would be just in time for our plesia to tame. My only main concern now is I don't have a name for it yet and I am uh, at my wits end on what to tame it actually. Forgot my scuba gear. There we go. And then I think one more, the flippers. Right. So is it tamed yet? I think it is. Should be right here. So see how close we were to the raft? <laughs> Just there. Ah, there we have it. Level 52. Nice. So let us put the saddle on you. You are a male, right? Okay, you're a male. Put the saddle. And let's see how this goes. Neutral. Awesome. Oh, let's see Among Us. <laughs> and now it just bounces around in the sea. Oh, and I can even see its neck, even if I'm in first person. That's cool. Nice. But yeah, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. Where am I? <laughs> Let me get a better angle on this. 
I'm so small compared to these guys. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. We were able to explore it at last, underwater. So I'll most likely do some more. Because it's just so exciting and I can't believe that I've been skipping all this part all throughout. So let me know what you think and let me know if you have any ideas for future episodes. Like, I don't know, an underwater base or something? I don't know. But let's see. More exploration of underwater stuff for sure. And we weren't able to see any under uh, sea loot crates as well. So that's something on our to-do list. But yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. So this is the Clumsy Geek signing off. And there is a Megalodon. How you guys can take care of it. Yeah, it's dead actually, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay. So <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. And have a nice day.